Hi, Bob Studio. Here's Old Guy Geek. Hey, I've already released some videos already on the Fall Creator Update and the Edge improvements, but they've tacked on one more improvement, uh, and that is uh, in PDFs so that you can use the table of contents. Uh, by the way, if you want to take a look at my uh, playlist for uh, all of my previous videos and this one, just click on that I that appears up here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, but let's go take a look at Edge and see uh, the new table of contents feature for PDFs. Okay, here I am in uh, Bing, and I searched to find a PDF that had a table of contents available to it. And I found this one uh, here, and it's on this website. I just uh, used it because I wanted to show you about table of contents. It happens to be about using table of contents. But you notice it's opened in Edge, which has now has the capability of doing PDFs, and matter of fact, annotating a bunch of other things. But if you look up here, you can skip to a page, you know, you can do other things. You can search, print, you know, save, all that stuff. But it, this document has a table of contents, but Edge has no way for you to navigate through it. Uh, but they've been continually updated through the whole Insider process, and now there's a new version out. So here we are on a different PC that has a Windows Insider, which is pre-release stuff. I'm going to the same exact uh, document on the web. I'm bringing it up and you notice the difference here is that now when you click on that document the menu comes up and there's a little tab there for the PDF menu and you can click on it and jump around in the menu and jump back and forth and everything. Uh, so if a, if a PDF has a menu built into it, it will display correctly in Edge. Not a big update but combined with all the up, other updates they've done with Edge for the 2017 Creators Update, it's a welcome one. 